Hi everybody, I'm Dave. And I'm Brenda. Today we are over by Lake Okahumka and we're trying to figure out what is going on over here. There's some sort of operation that has some large areas of plastic and pumps and pipes and yeah. uh, trying to find out what it is. Well, we have gotten an answer and we're going to tell you what that is in just a minute. Okay, once again, let's get you oriented to the area we're going to talk about today. Remember the area in red, that is all of the current village uh, villages that are built out or property that eventually will be built as the villages. The area in blue is the future development uh, that has not yet started. That'll be where Eastport and um, uh, the eventual area of Middleton, a lot of that in area, that'll be built, built out in the next years or decades. Today, specifically, we're going to be looking inside of the village of St. John's. And more specifically, closer to the recreation center, Lake Okahumpka Recreation Center. Now, right here in this spot, there's something kind of strange going on. So that's where we're going to zoom into is right in this area. All right, as we have in some of our previous videos, Brenda is spotting for me. I am the spotter. I'm going to be flying manually. And I'm going to start out by showing these plastic items we were talking about. See that large area there? And we'll get a little closer and check it out. And bring it down. We're heading over. And we'll kind of go along it. You'll see two of those areas that are raised. What that actually is, it is full of water. And if you look on the ground alongside of the road on the left-hand side, there's actually some pipes. Let's see if I can get those zoomed in. See those pipes right there? Those are going over to Lake Okahumka. And from that, the pipe goes around and into that large containment area. And then I'll get a little closer. These containments are actually bladders. They are pumping into those bladders from Lake Okahumpka. And I'll explain why in just a moment. Uh, we actually finally did get an answer of what this was. It really was blowing my mind. I couldn't figure out why they were pumping water out of Lake Okahumpka. It's like they, they can't pump the whole lake into these bladders. Well, you can see two of them. The bladder is about, I'm guessing, five to six feet tall with water. Water actually bubbles out through the top and runs over the edges. And you can see they've got two of them now, but there's room to put more bladders if they wanted. So, yep. The, um, as we uh, rotate around here, I'll get you a little more of a view. We'll go all the way around it. I'll probably stop there, Brenda, so you don't lose it in view. Okay. But you can see right there, they've got plenty of room to bring even more in. And you can see water on the edges, and that's running back. All right, we're going to turn. Let me come back over to where we're, where we're at here. Let me zip on over here. And you'll see in the drain, right in here, the water that overflows then comes down, th down the street and actually goes down that drain. So when it goes down the drain, that's the return water. Now, let me show you what's actually going. So they're pumping water into the bladders and then it is overflowing and going back down those drains and it looks like probably goes into this pond where it can settle a little bit. All right, let me show you exactly why they're doing this. And I'm going to go up and we're going to go over to Lake Okahumpka. Now we are in an area that's open for us to be. I'm right outside of the Okahumpka at the roadway. This is an open road. Now, see that vessel right there? That is a dredge. 
this is how they're dredging this area that's in the containment section. You can see they've got the, the containment, uh, um, I guess, booms you would call that. So as things are stirred up, you can see the very clean water out behind it. And I'm going to go out and turn around here. See me there, Brenda? Right yeah. there. Yeah, okay. oh, I've got you. All right. And let me spin. We'll make sure we're back. There we go. I'm going to stay right there, Brenda. It's fine. Okay. All right, so there's a containment. You can see the difference in the water. That's because they're dredging right now. They're stirring up the bottom a little bit. Well, what we found is you can see on the back of that dredge, there's a pipe. And I will come down. Let me know when I'm getting you behind the trees, and I'll stop, Brenda. You're fine. You st um, close now. Stop. Okay. All right. So you can see that pipe coming out of the dredge. That's the pipe that's pumping to the bladder. So what they're doing is they're dredging the mud and material from the bottom along with the water. It's coming out of that pipe, which comes out of the water. It's hard to see it there near the tree. And then it pumps over. Now you see where the bladders are over there to the uh, uh, upper left corner. And it goes into there where it settles. So they're able to collect that material in the bladders. The water bubbles over the top as the material settles to the bottom of the bladder, runs over, and comes along that plastic back into the roadway, collects in this collection pond for, in, for any more settling that needs to happen of silt. And then they have now collected all of that dirty material, It'll be all bagged up. How they remove that, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna maybe break down the bag and haul that out by truck, um, but uh, like that's an <laughs> interesting way of collecting it. I didn't realize how it's they so did that. Cool. Yes. So is. that is environmentally friendly, I guess, way of dredging. Oh, I'm sure. All right. So that answers the question. We've been watching. <laughs> we have been. We have been watching this area where the plastic is. I'm gonna come back over here and get another look at yeah, it. Yeah, you're fine. We'll get over the trees and we'll yep. come down. You're, you've got plenty of room. We'll go right over top of this settling pond, a nice safe place to hover. <laughs> and there you yeah. can see how that water, as it comes over, it runs down that plastic. It actually, I can come up quite a bit closer. There's nothing yeah, in the you're way. Fine. You've, you've got plenty of room. We can kind of get right up on this and mm -hmm. see the operation. You still have more room. All right. So you can see that water comes running and it goes down that hill into the street. Those are the pipes that are pumping in from the uh, from the uh, lake, and then it runs down into the drains. There may be some of that piping. Maybe they pump some of it back to the uh, lake. I don't know if all of it goes down that drain, but so I'm not sure of that part of the operation. But we do know, and we have confirmed, this is the dredging operation, and the bags are what is collecting the silt and material. And like I That's said, so cool. that what goes down that drain goes into this pond, which is a small pond that is easily contained and they can manage this. So that, that way they can, uh, they can take care of any silt runoff. Um, Cause it actually looks a little higher than it was this morning, but there's still plenty of room. They can actually contain oh, yeah. quite a bit more water. Yeah, there's plenty of room. In this one, so. All right. Let me go back up real quick. Okay. You're good. Yeah. All right. Let me get off to the side here. I don't want to fly over the containment area. There are two workers there on the other side um, to where, where, where they're at. We're going to stay out of their way. And I'm I can curious. See him beaten. I yeah. can see it. I can see something from here. Yeah. Yeah, it is interesting. I guess they're trying to make sure there's a certain something. pressure level in those. He beats the bag with a stick. <laughs> Every once he goes and just hits it, like he's trying to make sure it has the right pressure. In fact, that's what he's doing. He's that's got a stick with him. I just saw him do it. Yeah. And I just saw some water go splashing up. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> I, Did you get it on? Yeah. He, I'm looking right at him. He's right there in the middle between the two bags. He's smacking the bag. I don't know why. I'm guessing it has, you know, they've probably done this many times and it has something to do with the maintaining the yeah. right pressures Yeah. or to see if it's full of silt and they need <laughs> to open another bag. You never know. But look right there. You've got two more bags that are ready to go. 
And the land, oh, wait, three more bags. Oh, One, wow. two, three. And you've got these over here on this empty lot. And a space for a fourth. Wow. And that probably is the one, because we did notice that a little while ago on the ground, right over here. This right here, they were laying it out earlier using a forklift to lay it out. That's another bag. Mm -hmm. I think that they would not use it right there. I think they would put it in this containment berm. Yeah. But that may be for that fifth spot down there that they would uh, add it. And I still hear him beating on I, the thing. I can hear it too. Let's watch him for a minute. I'm just mesmerized by this stuff. I'm sorry <laughs> if I'm boring you by staying on this I for think, so long. It's just I think it's very really cool to me. I've never seen such an operation. I like it. Oh, there's some good shots of them beating the bag. Oh, good, good, good. I, I tell you, that could be a good job. Take out your frustrations. Just beat on the bag. <laughs> um, it probably doesn't show well in, in the uh, video here. Let's see if I can get over to the side. It's kind of cool looking because the way the water comes out of the bag, it's just like um, you can see the splash as he hits it. It it rolls off the side of the bag. like cas It's been cascading off of it and on this side is where we noticed it when we pulled up so mm -hmm. see if i can get an angle on it on my little screen it's hard to tell but it's like waterfall just rolling over the bag constant yeah that's why the whole outside of the bag is wet it's just a small a, a film of water constantly rolling over the edge collects on those edges and then rolls down uh to the uh the settling pond and he will go all the way around smacking the thing he looks yeah. like yeah See him do it again here. <laughs> I would love to have the full know what the full operation of this thing is, um, but it's pretty cool. Never seen anything like it myself. All right, let's slip this thing back over to where we're at here. You see where we are? We have this thing. He's coming right in sight. Coming right yeah. for me. I'm looking up yeah. to him. Yeah, he's been on his way back. Hang in there as we come back and we'll see if I can fly it back so we can say our goodbyes. <laughs> we need Since to I'm goodbyes. flying to me, I want to make sure that I'm... I've got gotcha. you. I do this safely. I don't want to fly it right into myself. <laughs> Alright, close enough. Alright, hopefully that was interesting information. Uh, we're gonna try and, yeah, we're gonna try and put this together and get it out pretty quick because there's been a lot of people riding around here I think they're trying to figure out what's going on also. Yeah, so uh, Anyway, if you have not already done so please subscribe to our channel There's a little spot right down there in the corner. It should say YouTube You can press on that when you press on subscribe There'll be a spot there with a bell if you click on the bell It'll notify you the next time we explore the villages See you next time. Bye